So according to a diabetic clinician at the Mayo Clinic, this expanded prediabetes definition, it says this is a financial win for physicians, companies that conduct lab tests, drug companies, device and app developers, clinics, and hospitals. The only people who lose by these new guidelines are the poor people who are actually healthy people have a normal A1C like they've always said before 2001, and now these people are considered being sick. So now they're going in for checkups, going in for tests, going on treatments, or start on all these diabetic drugs. And again, most of the diabetic drugs work by lowering your sugar, by increasing your insulin, which makes your insulin resistance worse. That's why they continue to add more and more medications, keep increasing your doses, and tell you that this is a long-term, this is a chronic disease, and you will always be on medication. That is a lie. 